Hello everyone and welcome back. I just let the chickens out this afternoon. They haven't been out for a long time because they would come out and eat stuff out of the garden so they're pretty happy to get outside. Happens to be a really nice warm day today. And right now I'm getting stuff ready for duck hunting. I'm just going through and checking things out. I mean I've got more than as many lanterns as I use and the reason why I do is because like this one's never even been used before it's brand new from last year I usually buy a new one because there'll be one that won't work a globe will be broke or something but um, I think I'm doing pretty good there made sure I got uh, lamp oil for the lamp and I have a different one in case this one doesn't work I like to carry a second one just in case Radio works. Let's see. Everything should be good in here. I wanted to check and see how many mantles I have. Got enough vegetable oil, dish soap, salt and pepper seems good. More oil, my oven mitt. I got enough plates. More seasoning, tin foil. I have a bunch of uh, gallon storage bags, but I'm going to need more because when we get ducks or grouse, they go in there. So I need a. Hopefully, going to need a few more. No, well, looks like the chickens are having an argument out there. Garbage bags. I think I'm looking pretty good. I went inside and grabbed some more freezer bags. This is my single. Uh, man, I really like this. This it lasts forever. You know, when you start it, like when we go out to the duck blind in the morning when we're leaving in the canoes. You know, it's what four o'clock in the morning, four thirty, what five? I don't know. Whatever time we leave. Uh, I will leave this one burning so that there's almost like a light when we're not there and it's it's as bright as some of my double mantle ones and uh, it doesn't use nearly the fuel but I don't know if you can see that but on the bottom the mantle is no longer attached so it needs a new one I'll have to stop somewhere and see if I remember to get one <laughs> Zachary, he can't go up duck hunting, of course, because they're just about to have the baby. Sarah, when I talked to her, I don't know, a week and a half ago, she said she was pretty sure she was going up. And, uh, but right now she's in Las Vegas, and I texted her to make sure that she's still going up, and she hasn't texted me back yet. If she wasn't going up, I would. I think I would just uh, bring my new fish house up there for my tent. I, I mean, I wouldn't need such a huge tent. And it's. Uh, I put the stove jack in, so if it's raining and it's chilly out, I could just put this wood stove in there. But uh, for right now, I think it's. I'm going to be bringing up the regular tent.
Hopefully she still floats on her 58th year in a row going up there. Well, the chainsaw is all ready to go for cutting wood. Uh, about a week ago, I was up at the farmhouse with the chainsaw and had to cut a stump down below ground, and I was right in the dirt, so that blade got pretty dull pretty fast, but now she's all nice and ready to go. Well, I think that's about it for right now until, uh, until Sarah gets a hold of me and I find out that she's for sure going up. Otherwise, I don't know which tent to grab. I don't know if I have to bring down her tent cot and everything, so I guess I'll see you guys out here probably tomorrow afternoon. Okay everyone, well, Sarah will not be going up duck hunting. Her schedule is just too busy. And of course, Zach's not going up because duck hunting is Saturday, baby is due Tuesday, so it could happen anytime. So I won't be bringing up the big tent. I'm kind of excited I'm gonna be bringing up the, that new fish house, the 10 by 10 that I have the stove jack for so we can have heat in there, which <laughs> although the nights are supposed to get down to about 59, one of them, but one of the days it's gonna be like 75 degrees. It's just gonna be horrible for, I think that's Thursday. But anyway, um, I'm just getting my shotguns cleaned up here. My, uh, this one I just used for grouse hunting. I have used it for duck. It's, it's, I really like it. It's a nice double barrel. I got this when my grandfather passed away and that got handed down to me. And the one, my automatic today, my semi-automatic that I use for duck hunting, if the like trigger mechanism part isn't completely clean, it'll jam and it'll, it just drives me crazy. So I always clean that really good before season starts. Doesn't look too bad, but it didn't get shot all that much last year, so. My gold hunter here is really uh, finicky when it comes to this part being clean, like I said. And if it's gonna be cold out, like if this was late season duck hunting, you don't even want any regular gun oil on there. Maybe some silicone or just leave it be. Because even that will get too cold and it will not want to work. And there's just nothing more frustrating than <laughs> if you're like me where you got to shoot at the ducks more than once and then it jams on you. I have everything else pretty much ready to go. I've got my fish house here that now will be a hot tent, paddles, my cot, my wood stove. I'm grabbing this here, which is the, there's like a second floor that goes in that tent that I usually use. We, I never use that second floor. 
but I'm going to put it in the fish house because the fish house has no floor and this even has a tent cut or a, a stove cut out so it'll work real well so I'm going to put that in there I've got my camp kitchen chair uh, I am bringing up some decoys sometimes I use them sometimes I don't but anyway I'm pretty much ready to go it's just it might rain tonight so I don't want to put everything on the trailer and start loading up the truck and then everything gets rained on. I have my sleeping bag and my waders right here. Been going through all my shotgun shells. And I have my shell bag. I have everything pretty much ready to go. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I will see you guys in the upcoming Duck Hunting 2019, the movie.